Welcome everyone to DSpec Hyper. In this video, we're going to show you how to download and install Velocidrone. To start, you'll need to visit the website velocidrone.com forward slash register. You should be able to click on the link in the email we provided you when you signed up and you'll arrive on this page. You need to fill in your name, email, choose a suitable password. Your player nickname should be your call sign. Put in your year of birth and you can choose a country flag. And then once you register, you will be logged into the main Velocidrone site. So once you have finished registering, you'll arrive on the Velocidrone homepage. If you've received a voucher from DSpec Hyper, you can go across and click on the Claim Voucher tab. That will take you to a page where you can input your voucher code and that will then allow you to download a copy of Velocidrone. And once you've clicked on the download tab, you arrive on this screen. It tells you the type of license you have purchased, the platforms that you can download Velocidrone on. It tells me that my license is currently unassigned to a machine. So you can actually install your copy of Velocidrone on one device. And then if you, for some reason, needed to put it on a different device, you can unassign it from that first device you put it on and reassign it to your new device. Choose your correct operating system. So I'm going to download for Windows. The file will download. You need to unzip it and open it and then run the launcher. So I've opened the download. I need to extract all of the files in that zipped download. You can choose the same location. And here is the launcher. Now there are two programs that will download for Velocidrone. One is the launcher and the other one is the actual Velocidrone simulator itself. You should always use the launcher whenever you open Velocidrone because when you use the launcher, it will check for updates in the simulator as well. So if we click on the launcher, it'll run you through the setup wizard. And then the launcher opens up, checks for updates, make sure you're gonna get the latest version. I would suggest once you've opened up the launcher that you pin that to your taskbar. Then you can just click on the play button. The simulator will just take a few moments to fully load up. And there we have the simulator is open and ready to go. So that's it for this video. Good luck and we look forward to seeing you out on the track.